Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Alquist, Anderson, Berryhill, Blakesley, Calderon, Canella, Corbett, Correa, De Leon, Desanye, Dutton, Emerson, Evans, Fuller, Gaines, Hancock, Harmon, Hernandez, Huff, Kehoe, Lamafa, Leno, Ted Lou, Carol Lou, Lowenthal, Negretta McLeod, Padilla, Pavley, Price, Rubio, Runner, Semidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Vargas, Walters, Wolk, Wright, Wyland, Yee. Please call the members. Will the absent members please report to the Senate floor for today's session. Now. Members, we have a quorum. With the members and our guests beyond the rail and in the gallery, please rise. We'll be led in prayer this afternoon by our chaplain, Rabbi Mona Alfi. After which, please remain standing. We will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag by uh, Senator LaMalfa. Good afternoon. It is a difficult thing to balance the needs and concerns of so many individuals and communities in a state like California. Following his inauguration, President George Herbert Walker Bush explained his philosophy by saying that he would take as his guide the hope of a saint, in crucial things, unity, in important things, diversity, in all things, generosity. We turn to our Creator to guide us and sustain us. May we never lose our sense of hope in a better tomorrow, nor let our faith in the importance of what we do dim. In difficult times, may we come together, united of a singular mind in finding solutions to what ails us. But in that unity, may there always be room for a diversity of opinions and perspectives to be expressed and heard. And may we always treat each other with a generosity of spirit, giving each other the benefit of the doubt and treating each other with respect. May this be God's will. Amen. Okay, messages from the governor will be deemed read. Messages from the assembly will be deemed read. Reports of committees will be deemed read and amendments adopted. Any motions, resolutions, or notices? Introduction and first reading of bills. Mr. Secretary? Okay, will be deemed read. We'll move on to the daily file. Um, Mr. Secretary, please read. 
Senate Bill 303 with amendments, 24 with amendments, 731 with amendments, 296 with amendments, 156 with amendments, 395 with amendments, 16 with amendments, 580 with amendments, 36 with amendments, and Senate Bill 38 with amendments. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to the Senate third reading. Items 15 through 20. Okay. Uh, item 15, Mr. Secretary. No? Oh, okay. Uh, item 16, Senator uh, McLeod. Okay. Senator McLeod, are you ready? Are you ready, Senator? All right. The floor is yours. Madam Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 235 by Senator Negretta McLeod and Acclaim to Water. Thank you, um, Mr. President and members. Uh, SB 235 would allow water conservation districts to reduce the number of board members on their board. As land uses have changed from agriculture to urban, the need for water conservation districts to have extensive rep representation has also changed. Currently, a water conservation district would be required to hold an election if they want to reduce the size of their board, which is costly and impractical. SB 235 would allow a district to reduce the size of their board membership from five to seven, from five to seven to five members and this is important with a majority vote of the board. SB 235 provides adequate public notice to prevent abuse of this authority and will allow districts to reduce their cost and operate more effectively. This bill received bipartisan support in policy commission committee and had no no votes. I respectfully request your I vote. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Lamalfa. Thank you, uh, question of the author please. Without objection, you may. Uh, Senator McLeod, I'm sorry I did not get to confer with you more on this bill in the meantime here. Um, I, I'm still wondering in this situation, why can't there, why can't this be deferred until the next regularly scheduled election so there's no additional cost to the district and have the local district folks have that vote to decide if they want to downsize their district, the, the, the membership of the uh, of the board. That's, that's my main concern is that I would rather have those folks be making the decision than perhaps here. So what, what would be wrong with deferring to their next election uh, and have that decision made locally rather than here in the legislature? Well, I, do, I don't know what their, their reasoning is, but evidently they talked about it before they came to the legislature to want to do it this way. And it, again, it's with the majority of the vote of the people on the committee. And so this would, um, it would start the proceedings when a district governing board's policy adopts by majority vote, the board's membership and a resolution which includes a map and description, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know what their reasoning was, but that district brought it to me because they all decided as a whole board that this is what they wish to do. Okay, thank you for that answer. I, I'm just troubled by, you know, I, I would love to work to see that they have the autonomy to do that, but so without a vote of the members of the district, I'm, I'm just a little troubled in supporting that today. So I'll, I'll, I'll listen to the rest of the discussion, discussion, but probably continue with a neutral position until uh, maybe this comes back from the assembly side. But I, I wish to confer with you more on those questions. Okay. Thank All you, right. Senator. Senator Anderson. A uh, question on the author? You may. You know, I just wanted a clarity. The entire board voted on this unanimously, is that correct? That is Thank correct. You. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. President, yes, the, the board, uh, the members of that board came to me seeking this request, wanting to be allowed to do this, and there will be plenty of adequate public notice so that there is no abuse. They will do it. They have, as you know, San Bernardino is a very large geographic area, and to do an election would be very costly for them, and they thought legislative would, legislatively would be the best way to go. So I ask for your I vote. Thank you. Any further discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Alquist? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Aye. Blakesley? Called it on? Canella? 
Aye. Corbett? Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. De Sonier? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Aye. Aye. Emerson? Aye. Aye. Evans? Fuller? Gaines? Hancock? Aye. Herman? Hernandez? Huff? Aye. Kehoe? Aye. LaMalfa? Leno? Ted Lou? Aye. Carol Lou? Aye. Lowenthal? Aye. Aye. Negretha McLeod? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Aye. Price? Aye. Aye. Rubio? Aye. Aye. Runner? Aye. Aye. Smidian? Steinberg? Aye. Smidian I? Steinberg I? Strickland? Aye. Aye. Vargas? Aye. Aye. Walters? Aye. Aye. Wolk? Aye. Wright? I Wyland, I Ye, Harmon I, I is thirty no zero. Senator McLeod moves the call. We will await the members from the Judiciary Committee. Okay. Item uh, seventeen, Mr. Steinberg. Okay. Item 18, Mr. De Leon. Mr. De Leon. Are you ready for item 18? Secretary, please call, please uh, read. Senate Bill 318 by Senator De Leon, an act linked to civil service. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. SB 318 would allow for rank and file CHP members to have their appeal rights before the State Personnel Board during their probationary period. Currently, all state employees in California, except for those newly hired rank and file CHP members, can request the State Personnel Board investigate the reason for their own specific termi uh, termination. These appeal rights protect employees from unlawful termination, especially during their probationary period, and should be provided to all state employees, including the men and women of the CHP. The bill has received bipartisan support in public safety and was unanimously passed uh, in this committee. Members, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Okay, members, any discussion? Secretary, call the roll. Alquist? Aye. Aye. Anderson? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Blakesley? Called it on? Canella? Aye. Aye. Corbett? Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Aye. Aye. Emerson? Aye. Aye. Evans? Fuller? Gaines? Aye. Aye. Hancock? I Herman, I Hernandez, Huff, I Kehoe, Lamalfa, I Leno, I Ted Lou, I Carol Lou, Lowenthal, I Negretta McLeod, I Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, I Rubio, I Runner, I Smidian. I Steinberg, Aye. I Strickland, Aye. I Vargas, Aye. I Walters, Aye. I Wolk, Aye. I Wright, Aye. I Wyland, Ye, Ye I, Berryhill I, Evans I. Call the absent members. Blakesley, called it on. Corbett. Fuller, Hernandez, Kehoe, aye. aye. Carolou, aye. Wyland, Wyland, aye. Correa. Call the absent members. Blakesley, Calderon, Corbett, aye. aye. Fuller, Hernandez. Okay, 36, uh, eyes 36, no zero, that uh, goes on call, who goes on call. Item uh, 19, Senator Hancock. 
<laughs> Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 644 by Senator Hancock and Act to Public Works. Thank you very much. Uh, members, SB 644 will extend the sunset on a bill that I carried in the Assembly. That bill, AB 2690, clarified that projects that are conducted by volunteers, uh, creek restoration, beach pickups, uh, et cetera, uh, can have volunteers on them that do not need to be paid prevailing wage. The original bill passed both the Senate and the Assembly with no, no votes. Uh, it passed out of the Senate Labor Committee with bipartisan support earlier this year, and the bill will merely extend the sunset on that measure from 2012 to 2017. There is no opposition, and I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you. Any, uh, any discussion? Any further discussion? Secretary, please call the roll. Alquist? Aye. Aye. Anderson? Ferryhill? Blakesley? Call it on. Canella? Aye. Aye. Corbett? Aye. Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Aye. Aye. Emerson? Aye. Aye. Evans? Aye. 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 Fuller? Gaines? Aye. Hancock? Harmon? Aye. Hernandez? Huff? Aye. Kehoe? Aye. LaMalfa? Aye. Leno? Aye. Ted Lou? Aye. Carolou? Aye. Lowenthal? Aye. Negretta McLeod? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Pavley? Aye. Price? Aye. Aye. Rubio? Aye, Runner. Aye, Semidian. Steinberg. Aye, Aye Strickland. Aye, Aye Vargas. Aye. Aye, Walters. Aye, Wolk. Aye, Wright. Aye, Wyland. Yee. Yee, I. Yee, I. Wyland, I. Anderson, I. Please call the absent members. Barry Hill. Aye. Blakesley. Call it on. Fuller, Hancock, aye. Hernandez, Smidian. Ayes 35, no zero. We will put that bill on call. Uh, item 20, Mr. Steinberg. <clears throat> Secretary, please read. Senate Resolution 13 by Senator Steinberg relative to the standing rules of the Senate for the 2011 12 regular session. Thank you very much, Mr. President. This simply revises existing Senate Rule 12 regarding standing committees by increasing the number of members of both the Insurance Committee and the Veterans Affairs Committee with our new members that have uh, arrived here since the beginning of the session. I ask for an aye vote. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Alquist? Aye. aye. Anderson? Aye. aye. Berryhill? Aye. Blakesley? Call it on. Canella? Aye. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Aye. Aye. Emerson? Aye. Aye. Evans? Aye. Aye. Fuller? Gaines? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Aye. Harmon? Aye. Aye. Hernandez? Aye. Huff? Aye. Kehoe? I Lamalfa, I Leno, I Ted Lou, I Carol Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negretta McLeod, I Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, I I Rubio, I Runner, I Semidian, Steinberg, I Strickland, I Vargas, I Walters, I. Wolk, I, Wright, I, Wyland, I, Yee, Yee, I, Mr. President, Smitty and I, 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 is 37, no zero, that resolution is adopted. 
Members, we're now going to lift the calls. Uh, item 16. Secretary, please read. Call the absent members. Blakesley. Call it on. Corbett. Aye. Evans. Aye. Fuller. Gaines. Hernandez. Aye. LaMalfa. Leno. Aye. Ye. Ye aye. Mr. President, aye. Ayes 35, no zero. That measure is adopted. And it passes, too. <laughs> Item uh, 18, lift the call, please. Blakesley, call it on. Fuller, Hernandez. Hernandez, aye. Mr. President. Ayes 37, no zero. That measure passes. Item 19, lift the call. Blakesley. Call it on. Fuller, Hernandez, aye. Smidian, Smidian, aye. Mr. President. Aye is 37, no zero. That measure passes. That completes the daily file. We'll move on to uh, motions and resolutions. Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, rise to adjourn in memory. You may. Colleagues, I ask if you join me in remembering the life of a great public servant, a good friend of mine named Charles McGlashan, who served for a term and a half on the Marin County Board of Supervisors. He was off on a ski weekend this past weekend and had a great time in terrific health, was very enthused as he approached his 50th birthday. He had just lost 25 pounds, as he reminded me, under doctor's supervision, so he was doing it right. And he got in the car to return home, had a heart attack, and died. He was a great leader, a great environmental leader, a great community leader, devoted his life to sustainability and energy efficiency and renewable power. He had impeccable educational credentials, undergraduate Yale, MBA from Stanford, could have done just about anything he wanted in the private sector, though he wanted to serve the people of Marin County. And he did so voraciously, tirelessly, and boldly. He served uh, just 18 months on the Marin Municipal Water District Board and then was elected to the County Board of Supervisors. But while he was there, he took on challenging issues, issues that few others would address. He led Marin to be the very first county in the state to make use of a state law which allows for the development of community choice aggregation. He faced a lot of opposition, a lot of folks who said it was impossible. It could not be done. And he not only showed us how it could be done, he showed us how it could successfully be done. And Marin County is benefiting from his efforts as a result. I'll spare you all of his other legislative accomplishments, but this was a, an amazingly good man, very dear soul. He leaves behind his wife, Carol Misseldine, and I ask you to remember him, his great works, as we adjourn in his memory today. Thank you, Senator Leno. If you can bring the name forward so that we can Make sure that it is memorialized in the state's records. We appreciate his service. Who? Senator Rubio? Thank you, President Pro Tem. It is with great sadness, colleagues, that I stand to adjourn in memory of Bernard B. Roth. Mr. Roth passed away of natural causes on Sunday, March 27, at his home in Beverly Hills, California. He was 95 years old. Mr. Roth, who pioneered the self-serve gasoline station, began modestly in 1938 with a single gas station in South Central Los Angeles. Over the course of seven decades, 
Roth's core business principle of distributing high-quality petroleum products allowed his company, World Oil Corp., to grow into one of California's largest privately held enterprises. Today, World Oil and its affiliates operate a chain of gasoline stations throughout California and have diversified their operations to include road and roofing asphalt production, trucking, marine terminal operations, and real estate development. Additionally, decades prior to the popularity and success of green business, Roth acquired a fledgling petroleum recycling company and transformed it into the largest petroleum recycling business in Western United States. Bernard Roth was born on June 27, 1915, in St. Louis, Missouri, one of six children. He moved to Los Angeles at the age of 15, and perhaps most impressive colleagues, while working as an usher at the Paramount Theater in East Los Angeles, Mr. Roth met Flo, his beloved wife, of over 74 years. He and his wife have three children, six grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. Not only did Bernie build a world-class business and a family man, but he gave back to local communities in very meaningful ways. Along with his wife, Flo, he created the Florence and Bernard B. Roth Family Foundation, and the foundation has been active with leading civic institutions, including the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, Cedar Sinai Medical Center, and Welshire Boulevard Temple. Roth was also deeply involved in serving the underprivileged in Compton, where he supported a variety of community-based efforts, including the AIDS Hotline, Little League Baseball, the Sports Foundation, Mills on Wheels, Senior Cookouts, Adopt-A-School Program, and the local food banks. Mr. Roth also gave a young man the idea to believe when no one gave him much of a chance to run for the California State Senate. We were at the Hillcrest Country Club breaking bread, a 94-year-old man, a 32-year-old young buck from the valley, when he told him, there's no doubt you got to run. He is a loving, was a loving husband, a caring father, and one of the most loyal friends you will have ever have met. California truly has lost one of the great titans uh, that we have in this state. And it's for those reasons, colleagues, that I ask that we adjourn in the memory of this great man. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Rubio. If you'll bring the name forward, we will make sure that it is included in our records. Senator Liu. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, and members, I um, also rise to adjourn in the memory of uh, Dr. Mustafa Moose Shaheen, a longtime scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in my district and a La Cañada Flint Ridge resident. Um, he passed away unexpectedly last week, and uh, Moose came to JPL uh, over 50 years ago. He served as a founding head of the Division of Earth and Space Sciences and as a laboratory chief scientist from 1984 to 2001. Most recently, he had been a science team leader for NASA's uh, atmospheric infrared sounder, which was launched on board the Aqua spacecraft in 2002. His, space, uh, his primary interests were in the remote senses of planetary atmospheres and surfaces. He received numerous awards, including NASA's Medal of Exceptional Scientific Achievement in 2007. His uh, wife, Marina, was a longtime teacher at uh, La Cañada High School, and um, I request that we um, um, uh, adjourn in his memory. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Liu. <laughs> Senator Evans. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have another very difficult to adjourn in memory. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is for Joe Highland, a 24-year-old man who was a good friend of my son, went to high school with him. He was killed in a skateboarding accident Friday night at the end of my block. And he uh, was cut down at age 24. He leaves two parents, a sister and a twin brother, and he will be very much missed. I ask that we adjourn in his memory. Thank you, Mrs. Evans, and we shall remember him in our prayers. If there's no other business, Senator Steinberg, the desk is clear. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We'll have a Democratic caucus uh, immediately after session, and um, again, session will be on, on my call. 
uh, with a scheduled session for Thursday at, at 9 o'clock. Our Democratic Caucus, thank you. The Senate will be in recess until 3.30, at which time the adjournment motion will be made. We will reconvene upon the call of the President Pro Tem. Democratic Caucus. Democratic Caucus. Thank you.